Hey guys, Konga here, and uh, today I meant to do a video f about the balance changes for tomorrow, but again, there's no balance changes for tomorrow, and so instead I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss, and like, golly, what do I do? I'm looking through my replays, and they're all pretty boring, honestly, and, uh, yeah, so, so I, I'm like, I'm a bit sad, I really am. So instead, um, I decided, alright, I'll share, I guess, the second to last game in my FE 4005 before I... 3 marked it. Uh, for some reason, I forgot to record the game where I did 3 mark it because I think I was probably excited and I forgot to click the uh, capture button. But we got the game before that at least. And and while uh, while we look around, I'm quickly checking the news, seeing if maybe the portal is updated. No, it is not. Okay, so <clears throat> nothing, no, no news. No news in the news today. Sorry about that. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, but we're firing AP out of this thing because obviously I got nerfed, the Hesh did. But I'm, I'm enjoying AP, I think it's fine. I, I really do. I think the tank needed to nerf the Hesh at some point in the in the game, if for sure. Um, but it, yeah, it is sad, and it does kind of make much of the tank irrelevant, much of it. But I'm still enjoying it, and now it's three marked. I'm done with it. And hello there, boom, <laughs> 1366 with AP, and I think I shot through a car as well, which I wouldn't have been able to do with Hesh. And I think that shot also went into his tracks, which. I would have only splashed him, so I'll take 1366 for sure to start the game off. Uh, you can roll that low with the old Hesh too. 1333 I think is the minimum you can roll, which I have done many times. So that's a nice roll for AP, 1150 alpha. And and since I don't have the second game of the 4005, I'll I'll do another game in like I don't know the STA one or something. We'll, we'll share an STA one replay. Sure, why not? Uh, but this position here. I like to do, take if the other team looked like they're going to win the banana. Because then you can start shooting people as they cross, which is what we're hopefully going to be doing here. Boom, like that. 1264. Again, if we had Hesh, we would only splash them. So, so far, the, the AP has been working out for us. We're up to 2600 damage because we're firing AP. If we were firing Hesh, that one would have only splashed. So, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. But we'll be loaded again in 7 seconds. They're fighting two heavies. Hopefully they won't be pointing their guns at me. Of course, when I see one of these things, I immediately point my gun at them. I'm like, oh, look at that. I'm going to shoot myself a 4005 so it doesn't shoot me. But some people don't do that. And boop. Oh, I think we hit we hit our own guy there. Uh, that was uh, the case. This is before the the 360 was dropped. And I'm, I'm let me tell you, the, the latency and such, the ping, is so much better with the 360 dropped. But that one there was me turning my gun and the server not being able to keep up with my gun turning as the shell comes out almost the side of my tur my my gun a little bit. So that was a bit unfortunate, but hello there. Boop, 1099. And now I'm going to turn around for the E50M, who I know is coming up behind me. I'm loading the hash for him so that I can hopefully one-shot him. 1400 alpha on this. I'm not sure what his health is. But there's also this guy. And these are the perfect tanks to load hash for, honestly. They really are. And so now, now this tank you have to be tactical with. You can't be just a dumb dumb driving around. And it looks like the E50 has also turned around, by the way. You can't just be a dumb dumb driving around. You literally can't. And it's actually kind of nice. You have to actually be with a brain. You have to have a brain. Hello there. Boom. <laughs> 1386. We barely rolled higher than our AP shell, our first shot. But hey, 5,000 damage. Not too bad in, what, four shots? And one of them was a miss. So that's not bad at all. We're, we're now loading AP again as we go after whoever this guy is. The IS-4 or something. It is the E5. Mmm, maybe I wish I had Hesh loaded now. But it's okay. AP will do just fine. Oh, Hesh would have been nice. Boop. <laughs> 995. 6,100 damage now we are up to. And we're going to turn back around and go right back after this T95 E6. That's the plan anyway. There he is. Come here, buddy old pal. Come here. I'm going to shoot you in the face. No, he's going the other way. He's going the other way. That's fine. 268 version 4 is still full health. Maybe we can get to him. If my team is all turning back, we might be able to get to him. And so I've decided, all right, fine. We're going to drive through the middle, shoot into the E50, and continue on for the 268 version 4. Because my entire team, not entire team, but most of my team have turned around for the medium tank. So I might actually be able to get to this guy. But first... We're going to shoot this guy. That went to the center of my circle. So when you fully aim in this game, your shells miss. But that one went, like, dead center of my circle. And that was on the move. And that's pretty that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And now we're now we're just uh, driving. Driving along Himmelsdorf. Going through the central the central park here. It's, a, it's, it's an interesting park. They put bricks down instead of, you know, keeping it all grass. I mean, I, I guess that's what you want to do. 
You can drive your cars around here. Drive, maybe ride your bike. But, you know, I'd, I'd rather grass, personally. But that's just me. But we're back on the streets now. Crossing, going down this this alley, this street. This nice, I don't know what this is on our right. Maybe a court? No, probably not. Probably a department building. Uh, but there's, there, there he is. Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm okay to take a hit as long as he doesn't set me on fire. So we're going to sit here and aim this one. Aim, 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 aim. That's the nerf version. So, our AP should be more than enough. 7,334 damage done firing AP in one hesh. One hesh. Uh, and if you're paying attention, you're cycling your rounds, you can do just fine in this tank. You really can. Uh, I think the tank, it's still powerful. It's still devastating. It still hits hard. It, if you stay, if you play conservatively, you can still have huge games in this. So I think it's perfectly fine. Where it's 94.48%, and the next game we did three market. But like I said, I was a dum dum and forgot to record. So how my uh, my software works is it records the last two hours of playtime, and so I'm I'm not rec I won't be recording. And then when I have a good game, I'll just rewind, you know, 15 minutes or however long the game was, and then click record, and it'll record that, and then it'll delete the cache b before it. And I forgot to rewind and record. As simple as that. I probably recorded something else along during the session. And it just deleted my third mark game because I forgot to record my third mark game. <laughs> so, rip. But we're in the STA-2 now. And we're platooning up with Navy SEAL. Man, this guy I haven't seen in a while. And he's been grinding his Indian Panzer for about five years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish that was I wish that was not a true story, but it, but it is. Um... But he, he, he does not have a good relationship with his Indian Panzer. He doesn't like it. I like the Indian Panzer. And I, hasn't it received some kind of love in its life? I don't remember. Maybe, perhaps, probably. Uh, but regardless, I thought it was a really nice tank. He, not so much, which is perfectly fine, of course. Everybody has, has their own preferences. And they really do in this game. Like, if you like the 277, it's fine. It's a bad tank, but it's fine. You can like it. <laughs> uh, see, now I'm just being mean. Uh, but we're going to be taking this position here. And the game starts off a bit slow, for sure. Oh, and as you can see by the aiming, this is from a while ago. This is from before update 4.12, when they ruined aiming. So, yay. <laughs> because you can could, you could tell because of how big the circle is. And I'm just checking chat. So somebody apparently joined the party. I'm like, who's in my party now? And I don't have notifications on, so I don't know when somebody joins. So I have to manually go and look. And the reason I don't have notifications on is because I do get spammed. And any time now I log into World of Tanks, I get spammed by PlayStation 4 invites now. <laughs> it's like, how do I turn these off? Because <laughs> apparently the Xbox players don't see me online, but the PlayStation players do see me online. And so it's like, <laughs> every time I log in, it's, uh, it's rough. It really is. But uh, at least I don't get messages, right? Can I kill this guy? Nah, we can't kill him. It's fine. He's dead. He's down. And I can't remember if we're fully upgraded in this tank or not. I think we are. Um, I mean, we have the STB-1 now, and we ground through the Type 61, so, yeah, I think we, uh, I think we made it through this pretty quickly. No, no clear shot there, 400, 400 damage, we're up to, I can't see the timer in the white and on the small screen of mine. Is this gonna shoot me? He would, wouldn't he? Nah, he's not going to. He's a kind gentleman. Decided to let the, uh, the Japanese tank go by. Like, don't mind me. We don't make very good tanks, so just let me through. <laughs> and he did. It was, it was kind of him. But speaking of bad tanks, there's a Black Prince there that I think wants me to farm him. In which case, I will oblige. I start off with the tracking shot. I didn't really want to track him, but I'll take the tracking. I want to track and damage him, but that's a harder tank to actually track and damage. The inside rival. However, if you shoot the outside rival, you'll track damage and ammo wreck him, because that's just how they design these tanks. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done, well done. It's 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 a ter it is a terrible design. I mean, it ma it made sense, sure, for you know the the period, but for this game, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, and I wish they would kind of remove that. I think the Churchills would because the Churchills, in my opinion, are some of the worst tanks tier for tier in the game. I think all they need to do to make them more competitive is maybe give them a bit more gun depression and remove the ability to get tracked and damaged through the front at any angle. Like that's that's just dumb. That is baloney. Dead. There we go. Perfection. Up to 1900 damage in our STA-1. But yeah, that's how I fix those. Uh, but, I mean, they're lower tier tanks. Wargaming seems to only care about tier 10. Oh wait, no they don't. Tier 10 is now perfectly balanced because they've stopped buffing and balancing tier 10 tanks. Because tier 10 is perfectly balanced now, guys. Don't pay any attention to the Amex 30B or the K91 or the E50M 
or the IS-4 or the TVP or the 50B. Don't pay attention to any of those tanks. All right, everything is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And don't pay attention to the Super Conqueror being overtuned and the wz 115A and the Object 279E and, and the machine. Don't pay any attention to those. Okay, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. The game is balanced. Thank you, Ford Gaming, for balancing tier 10. You did it. You did it, and we know they did it because they've stopped buffing them. And that's how you know that, yeah, it is, it's done. They did it. The game is perfectly balanced. Yeah, now you guys are just hearing me right now. I, I can't wait for this video to be done. <laughs> I want to, I want to go finish my book. So today's the day I think I'm going to be finishing the first draft of my book, Monday. And so I'm super excited about it. As soon as that's done, I'm going to be printing it out. Oh, boy, there's a lot of pages that need to be printed. I don't think I have enough ink. Do I even have enough paper? I don't even know. And then I'm going to mail it to myself. And then I can talk to you guys about it. It's going to be super cool, super dope, super dope, super exciting. Can't wait, can't wait. Had another call with the, the publishing company I've been talking to. They have a sale this, this month on, uh, on one of their packages, which I'm uh, not interested in. I'm interested in the big package, the big one, the big one, because I can, I'm going to afford it. I can't afford it. I'm going to, I'm going to afford it. I'm going to get it. So that's, that's what I'm excited about. I get that going. And so my plan with this book is to bounce off the, this guy first. Then, then my plan. Okay. So any money I get off the book, I want to put straight into marketing and just keep doing that. It's kind of like Monopoly. When you're playing Monopoly, uh, as soon as you get a, uh, enough to put houses on a property or sorry a monopoly itself you invest in it immediately so that you get money back so i'm literally going to be playing monopoly but in real life is what i'm going to be essentially doing is now once i finish this book that's my monopoly and any money i put into marketing is just houses and eventually it sh will hopefully get big enough to the point where i don't even have to keep putting stuff into it because it'll just be a hotel right that's the plan anyway uh and plus I'll be writing other books, which will also hopefully help with that. But STA-1, 4,000 damage, almost 5,000 damage, not too shabby. There's the ace tanker we need in this tank. So now this tank is done, we don't have to play it anymore. But we aced this a while ago. What's the date? 11, 10, 19. This is before 2020, boys. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Comment, subscribe! Two replays in 12 minutes. I know, it's crazy. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Go check out Space Bandit. Link in the description below. Take care, everyone. And peace out.